We are now familiar with the large signal model of the MOS transistor. In this lesson, we will look at the small signal model. Okay. Now, the large signal model is given here. The small signal model of course, depends on the operating point and in each region we will have a different expression for the small signal parameters. Okay. Now, the region of most interest to us is this, the saturation region. In cutoff of course, there is nothing, the current is 0. So, there is nothing in the small signal model, the small signal current, the incremental current is also 0. Okay. Now, in this case, uh, in the triode region, there will be some uh, uh, incremental model and in the saturation the region there will be another incremental model. Okay? So, we will consider these now. First, we will look at the small signal incremental model in the saturation region. Okay. This is the complete expression for the drain current and of course, we know what the small signal model consists of. In general, it consists of these four elements y 2 2, y 1 1, y 1 2 v 2 where this is v 2 and y 2 1 v 1 where this is v 1. And we know that in a MOS transistor y 1 1 and y 1 2 are 0 because the gate current is 0. So, this resistance is an open circuit and this current source is 0 also an open circuit. And y 2 1 is the partial derivative of i 2 with respect to v 1 or I d the drain current with respect to V g s the gate source voltage and that we can easily get by differentiating this and it is equal to mu 1 c ox w by l times V g s minus V t. Okay. And when we refer to a MOS transistor, we do not use the generic terminology y 2 1, we refer to this as g m. In general, G m is the symbol for trans conductance, okay. that is the transfer conductance from port 1 to port 2 and this y 2 1 will be referred to as G m in the context of the MOS transistor and its expression is given here. You can clearly see that it depends on the operating point. Okay. Now, for the values we had taken where mu n c ox w by l is 100 microampere per volt square and the threshold voltage V t is 1 volt, you can very easily see that for V g s equals 2 volts, G m will be 100 micro Siemens. Okay. This term in parenthesis here V g s minus V t will be 1 volt, this constant is 100 microampere per volt square. So, the trans conductance is 100 microampere per volt or 100 micro Siemens. Okay. And y 2 2, which is the partial derivative of i d with respect to v d s or v 2 okay, is of course, 0, because you can see no dependence on v d s in this expression. Okay. We will later see that this is only approximate, this will not be exactly 0, but we will consider that aspect later. Okay. And again, in uh, the context of the MOSFET, we do not use generic terminology like y 2 2, this is called G d s, the drain to source conductors. Okay. So, now we can see in saturation region, the model of the MOS transistor is very simple. These two are anyway 0 and y 2 2 or G d s is also 0. Okay. So, this is also an open circuit. So, the MOS transistor simply consists of 
a voltage control current source whose value is given by this. Okay. So, the small signal incremental model of the MOS transistor in saturation region we will have the incremental voltage V 1 which of course, we refer to as V G S keeping in consistency with the terminology of the MOSFET. The voltage V 2 will be V D S and this current is G M times V G S and the conductance is 0. Okay. There would be a conductance here, but because the drain current has no dependence on the drain source voltage, this conductance is 0. Okay. And the expression for G M is given by u n c ox w by l times v g s minus v t. So, if you have a certain load resistance and if you want to obtain a certain gain, you know how to uh, calculate the value of g m and then from that you can figure out what operating point the transistor must be set. Okay. We will come to the amplifier example later. Now, let us look at the small signal incremental model in the triode region or the linear region. Okay. The expression for the current is V n C ox W by L V G S minus V T times V D S minus V D S square by 2. Okay. Now, again we will have the same model with Y 1 1 and Y 1 2 being 0, we will have y 2 1 v 1 which in the terminology of MOSFET is g m times v g s and y 2 2 which in MOSFET terminology is g d s and this voltage is v d s. This transconductance g m is given by the partial derivative of i d with respect to v g s which you can easily work out to be V 1 C ox W by L times V D S. Okay. Now, the conductance G D S which is the partial derivative I D with respect to V D S is given by V 1 C ox W by L times V G S minus V T minus V D S. Okay. So, let us examine these two in a little more detail, but the point is that G D S is not 0. Okay. We evaluated the constraints required for a good amplifier that provides a high gain and we saw that Y 2 2 or G D S should be 0, but in this case it is not 0. So, that is the reason why triode region is not the desired region for operating an amplifier. Okay you can do it, you can always set the operating point in triode region and try to make it work like an amplifier, but it would not be as good an amplifier in triode region as it would be in saturation region. So, to do that we will uh, compare these quantities between the two regions. Saturation region and triode or linear region. Okay. So, G m value in saturation region is given by mu 1 C ox W by L V G s minus V t and in triode region it is given by 
V on C ox W by L times V D S. And we know that the triode region is defined by V D S being smaller than V G S minus V T. So, it is very obvious that any G M that you get in triode region is going to be smaller than in saturation region. Okay. So, G M in triode will be less than the G M in saturation region. Okay. And the G D S value in saturation region is 0 according to our model. Later we will see that it is a small non zero value and in triode region it is mu on C ox W by L V G S minus V T minus V D S. Okay. The value of V D S itself will be between okay. So, this G D S will be some positive quantity. So, G D S in triode region is more than in saturation region, G M in triode region is less than in saturation region. So, any amplifier that you make with the transistor biased in triode region will have a smaller gain than if it if it were operating in saturation region. Okay. And you can also see that in this case as V D S goes from 0 to uh, V G S minus V T. G D S changes from mu n C ox W by L times V G S minus V T to 0 okay. and G M changes from you can see this V D S will be 0 initially 0 to mu n C ox W by L V G S minus V T. So, these two change in complementary ways G D S is maximum when V D S is 0 that is the transistor has no voltage across it and in fact, the value of G D S equals the value of G M in saturation region okay. and it reduces to 0 whereas, G M increases from 0 to mu on C ox W by L V G S minus V T okay. pictorially. We will assume V G S to be fixed and this value is mu n C ox W by L V G S minus V T. So, G D S starts from here and then falls linearly to 0 and then it remains 0 thereafter according to our current model and G M starts from 0 and it increases linearly and reaches a maximum of this value at V D S equals V G S minus V T and remains constant. Okay. So, this is the saturation region and this is the triode or linear region. Okay. So, you can clearly see that to have highest transconductance and lowest output conductance you have to operate in saturation region.